Hi, I'm Joe Saunders with Miniature Landscape Hobbies, and in this episode, we're going to build some terrain. What kind of terrain? Well, I really don't know, because this is part of the terrain challenge from Event Horizon Hobbies, and what I'm about to build is in this envelope. I don't know what it is, so let's open the envelope and see what we're going to build. It could be anything. Miniature Landscape Hobbies is proudly supported by these sponsors. Event Horizon Hobbies is an amazing gaming and hobby store with an equally amazing staff. I met the owner, Sarah Ann, quite by accident at a model train show earlier this year. And I'm glad that I did. Not only does she have an interest in terrain and historical wargaming like me, but also her hobby shop, which is in Midland, Ontario, has an unbeatable selection. Naturally then, when Event Horizon joined Torchlight Games as one of the major sponsors for my channel, I was thrilled. But our partnership didn't end there. Sarah Ann and I came up with a new idea for a video series, a terrain challenge, where she would come up with a concept for a build provide some key ingredients from her incredible selection at her store, and I would have to use these and my imagination to do the rest, and build something that was more or less random. This video is the first episode in what will be an intermittent series on my channel where I take each challenge on. The result will probably be some fairly weird terrain. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fun. So enough of that. Let's open the envelope and see what my next project is. Inside the envelope is a pair of the exclusive Event Horizon Hobby dice. Cool. And also a letter. Naturally, the letter has a random terrain generator because, hey, we're wargamers after all. It seems that there are three separate tables here. One for the environment, one for the color palette, and one for some random elements. Okay, let's take out the dice and roll up the details of the project. First up is the environment, and I roll a one. This means it's an urban setting. Next is the colors, a 6. That's monochromatic. I can work with this. Lastly comes the random element, and I roll another 1. So, ruins. Okay, this build is going to be urban monochromatic ruins. This really isn't out of my comfort zone, but we still have to pick the materials that I have to incorporate. Sarah Ann has sent these cool themed terrain supply boxes they have at Event Horizon. There are four different themes, forests, plains, wastes, and mountains. I go ahead and make a little chart and grab a four-sided die from my old D&D days. I'm going to use this to randomly determine which set I'm going to use for my supplies. And here's the roll. A one. Forest. Okay. Inside is a nifty selection of stuff. First up is some strips of cork. No trouble here. Cork is about as versatile as you can get. Now some of Army Painter's excellent shrub tufts. I can't complain. Hmm. Dark green foliage. This is another model building staple. Although... Not what I really need for this project. And now, a little tub of light green static grass. From the color, I would say it's the Woodland Scenics brand. Again, something that's good for a forest. Not for urban ruins, though. 
And finally, and much to my relief, the last product is a mix of gray talus, grit, and railroad ballast. This certainly has a look I can use. So now I have a monochromatic urban ruin to build with forest themed materials. Hmm. Okay, on to planning. Most of my commission terrain clients and regular viewers know I plan meticulously for each build. But in this case, that would seem just kind of wrong. So I'll wing it this time. One thing immediately comes to mind. Sarah Ann and I have had many conversations over our mutual love of Napoleonics and the black powder system. So I'm thinking a stone building in ruins on a cobblestone base is in order. Stone will give me monochromatic effects, and then if it's slightly overgrown, the forest elements should look good and build some color. Lastly, when this terrain series is over, Mitch and I will be headed to Event Horizon to host a Napoleonic mega battle. Better get painting, Sarah Ann. So maybe what I build here can act as a centerpiece. All right, enough talk, time to play the montage music and get building. Please support us by subscribing on Patreon. Our subscribers receive a 5% discount on paint and building supplies from Torchlight Games, promotional products from Event Horizon Hobbies, free access to 3D print files, and a whole lot more. If you wish to make a one-time donation, click the button for Super Thanks.
That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Please remember to subscribe, press the bell button so you get immediate notification on our videos, and until next time, remember to keep building life in miniature.